Hello students and parents, welcome back to my channel with another maths tutorial video and I am going to explain you about an interesting topic of mathematics that is pictograph. So let's get started. A pictograph is a presentation of data in the form of pictures and icons. The main advantages of a pictograph are it is the representation of data in a simple form it is attractive and easy to understand. Let's discuss one example. Here is a pictograph. Here some students of a classroom voted for their favorite fruits. One smiley is equal to one vote. So you can say that 10 students voted for apple, 7 students voted for pear, 2 for grapes and 6 for bananas. Suppose this is a pictorial representation of a classroom. Here the records of the favorite hobbies of the students are recorded. In the first column the hobbies are there, music, drawing, cricket, storybook and dance and the right side is the number of students we have to write. Now I am drawing some circles against the different name of the hobbies. Those circles will denote how many students loves music, drawing, cricket, storybook or dance. You all know that we can't put numbers here. We have to draw pictures in the pictorial form. And last, we have to give the keys of these pictures. You can color the images or the circles here and at last we have to give the keys about the circles means each circle denotes how many number of students that you have to denote at the last end of the pictorial representation. Now I am going to write the keys against each of the circle and that key will denote the exact number of students loving those hobbies. One circle will be equal to Two students so two circle will be equal to four students it's like multiplying by two we can get the exact number of students belonging these hobbies suppose for the first case four circle into two means eight students loves music and this like the others we have to calculate now we can solve different types of questions from this pictorial form. Suppose here two questions are there. What is the most popular hobby and what is the least popular hobby? These two questions we have to solve here. Now let's find out the answer of the first question which will be the most popular hobby. Here you can see that 8 circles are there against storybook. 8 multiplied by 2 means 16 students favorite hobby is uh, storybook. So we have to write storybook here for the most popular hobby. Now let's find out the answer of the second question. What will be the least popular hobby? You can see that against dance here two circle is there means two multiplied by two means four students favorite hobby is dance. So the answer will be dance. This like we can solve all the important and interesting questions very easily from this pictorial representation and it will be easy to understand for all of us. Here is another interesting example for pictograph and this chart represents the favorite subjects for the students of a class and one pencil denotes one vote so from that you can easily calculate the favorite subjects for the students. This is the large representation for a reading competition for a class students and one image represents two books from that you can easily calculate who is the winner of this competition. So stay tuned to my channel to get more and more dislike interesting math tutorial videos for you. Bye bye.